Mm -hmm. Do you have to give it a title and press stream? I didn't give it a title. Oh. Oh, you have to log in. <laughs> oh, no, it is, it is happening. One hell of a chin. Excellent stuff. <laughs> oh, that is annoying. So presumably it is. Streaming right now. Right, a bit of a delay. Um, so, this is Meerkat. Um, I've been playing with it for the last few days. I've got one of my uh, MA students at Birmingham City University filming this. We, uh, and behind him are all the other shy MA students who don't want to be on camera. Um, it's a live streaming service. It's not the right. first live streaming yeah. service. Um, Let's so, turn that this down. is Meerkat. Nice better. Um, it's not the first live streaming app for Twitter. There was one called Twitcasting, which came out a few years ago, which I really like and, and no one else ever seemed to ever talk about. And what Twitcasting did was you could live stream on Twitter and while you were streaming, you would see any tweets at you. Um, so it was a great way of doing live streaming while also being able to interact with people who were kind of following your stream. And it would automatically tweet as well. So it does everything that Meerkat does now. But Meerkat seems to have had a lot more publicity around it. Um, Twitcam was another tool and still is another tool. It's now owned by Ustream. And Twitcam also live streams over Twitter. Where they differ from Meerkat is that Meerkat doesn't store a copy of the stream. Um, and Meerkat has this scheduling feature which allows you to send out a tweet saying that you're going to be live in five minutes or an hour. So I think Meerkat has created this, uh, as I said earlier, an artificial scarcity around the video which makes it a bit sexier. Um, also perhaps addresses some privacy concerns. Um, but perhaps one of the other reasons why Meerkat has captured more attention in the last week than Twitcasting or Twitcam did is that um, when Twitcasting and Twitcam came out, there were lots and lots of Twitter tools coming out, and they were just another Twitter tool. This is more of an app which kind of is more distanced from Twitter. It's a different time, even though it's only a couple of years later. Perhaps more people have video capability, better bandwidth. So there are a number of things in its favour. Um, Although Meerkat doesn't keep a copy of your video, it does give you an option to save a copy at the end and that's what I'm going to do at the end of this so there's, there's a copy of this video. Um, you have to film in landscape, for, uh, not landscape, in portrait. So you're filming there in portrait. So if I do save this video and upload it to YouTube, it's going to look crap, it's going to look amateurish. Uh, I could upload it to Vine or Instagram and they'll have a square version of it but um, there's going to be a time limit on that. So. Um, so those are considerations worth bearing in mind. Um, would you just turn it now and see what happens when landscape? It's turned. It has turned, right. So perhaps filming in landscape is a better option. Um, while you're live, is anyone, has anyone replied on the screen yet? Um, is anyone even watching? About 10 people. 10 people, okay. So while you're streaming, you'll see at the top of the screen how many people are watching and you'll see little icons of them. Um, they can tweet at you or send messages in the app. So if anyone wants to send a message, please do that now so we can respond to it. Um, the messages should appear at the bottom of the screen and you can reply also at the bottom of the screen. But there's a really weird bug in Meerkat, which is that when you reply in Meerkat, those replies appear on Twitter as well, but they are addressed to yourself. So if you're thanking someone on Meerkat, on Twitter it looks like you're thanking yourself. It will say, at Paul Bradshaw, thanks, from Paul Bradshaw. You got one, hi. Hello, who's saying hello? Desi Velikova. Oh, Desi, yeah. Desi's a former MA student, yeah. Um, Desi's, Desi's, Desi's been quite a big user of this recently, so she, she was one of the two people, I think, who were watching a stream yesterday. Um, so that's a kind of a, a thing, if you're replying in, in Meerkat, you've got to be aware that those replies will look as if you're talking to yourself on Twitter itself. Um, 
Uh, now, what was the other thing? I was going to say something else. There's just one more thing about it. Um, sound. That was it. So I did a couple of experiments yesterday with sound. I, I did one uh, Meerkat video where I had my hands-free um, headphones plugged in so I could use the microphone on the hands-free set. And I wanted to see how clear the audio was. And then I did another version where I was holding the phone to my ear as if I was making a phone call um, and talking into the normal microphone on the phone. Now, the audio quality on both wasn't very good when I played the videos back later, the, the downloaded versions. But when I asked on Meerkat itself, people said the audio was nice and clear. So I don't know uh, whether there's a difference between what you hear live and what audio is recorded on the version that you save to um, your phone. Um, but uh, one thing that's really interesting for me with this is you can pretend to be having a phone call and be basically filming something that's happening. So if, it's, it's quite a good way of doing kind of surreptitious monitoring of kind of public authorities or, you know, voyeurism. something like that. Sorry? Voyeurism. Or voyeurism indeed. Um, trust your mind to go to that possibility. I, I didn't even consider that. Um, I was very careful actually while I was doing it. I had to, I was walking through um, a, a, a train station and uh, I, I made sure I walked so that everyone's to, to the left of me and I was just filming uh, not people. So I was filming away from people. So there's lots of uh, kind of issues in terms of invasion of privacy as, as you um, touched on. So that's everything I can think of in terms of playing with Meerkat over the last week. It's, it's a live streaming tool, the technology isn't new, the marketing of it is, uh, and the timing of it seems to have captured some imagination um, and, um, and that makes a big difference in terms of I, I think um, how widely used it is. So it, it's well worth having a play around, um, maybe using landscape is the, is the best option there. Um, so I'm going to stop this live stream now, it will disappear from me a cat but I will try and get the video online on YouTube and um, and see how that comes out.